Yo, what's up? What's good? It's quite doing. I can feel the magic boy. Deep back on another bang. Y'all know the days, man. Today is random Tuesday, number 65. Today we got Iran launches a major ballistic missile attack on Israel. Now, this was requested by Felipe Garcia. Uh, I appreciate you, man. You told me to react to this last week, so um, that's what we're going to do, man. Uh, last week, I did react to uh, to World War Three. You know what I'm saying? It was getting a little scary, a little creepy. So this one, man, it seems like Iran put Israel in danger. You know, firing a missile, that's, man, I can't imagine how frightening that could be, man. See that, man. Oh, we're going to see what they talking about, man. I hope people that got hit by it are cool, are all right. I don't know. I mean, it's, that's a missile, you know what I'm saying? So I'm assuming if somebody died, um, hopefully somebody didn't. But, I mean, I'm having a feeling somebody did. Um, if you, um, I'm gonna leave the original video link description down below. If there's you want to check out our own, on your own time, man, it's always like, comment, subscribe, join the D squad. We're on the road to 10k, we very, very close. So, I appreciate it. If you guys just sub up, share this video with your friends, they're my channel. You know what I mean? Get the word out of there, out there. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, let's hop into it. Good evening and welcome. It was Iran who struck tonight in the ever spiraling cycle of violence in the middle. Damn, bro. Did you see? Did y'all see the impact in the background? Like, it's almost captured. Hold on. Welcome. It was Iran who struck tonight in the ever spiraling cycle of violence Damn. in the Middle East. The U.S. says around 200 Iranian ballistic missiles launched from missiles. So they hit. They they hit them multiple times, bro. Bro, I feel like there's a war coming up, bro. It wasn't even just one missile. Iran rained down across Israel this evening, sending people running for cover. Just moments after air raid sirens sounded, the sky filled with streets of light. Incoming missiles may appear to explode in the air, intercepted. You got people watching this, John, bro. Look at this, bro. You got people watching this. You got people watching this, bro. Like, this is, this is crazy. Israeli and American defenses. Iran launching waves of missiles toward Israel in retaliation for its recent killing of the leader of Hezbollah, an Iranian-backed militia group. Remarkably, Israel says there were no deaths and few injuries as a result of the missile strikes this evening. The attacks not a surprise after U.S. intelligence several hours earlier warned a missile attack by Iran was imminent. This evening, Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu making clear there will be a response. Our team witnessed it all from the ground. Raf Sanchez leads bro, us off with the bro, latest bro, now scary, from northern bro. Israel. It began just after 7.30 local Look time. Look at all I can tell you man. at this moment, the skies above us are lighting up. But look to us from the grounds like deadly shooting. Y'all can hear them, bro. Y'all can hear the little... Whistle sounds like, bro, oh lord, I heard in the army somebody that I, like, that you in the army, like, if you hear, if, like, if you hear the little whistle sound, that means you're too late. That's what I heard, like, if you, like, you hear that, like, that means it's too close. But that's, bro, bro. Are lighting up. But look to us from the grounds like deadly shooting stars, Iranian ballistic missiles slamming down one after another near an Israeli air base. Also seen over Jerusalem's western wall and across the country. Israel says its air defenses taking out most of the incoming missiles. We are seeing some of these missiles, they are either falling apart, a sign that they have been intercepted, or they are making their way down towards the ground here in northern Israel. The IDF says around 180 Bruh. Iranian missiles fired in total, in two waves, minutes apart. We are once again seeing the skies lighting up now. Traveling the nearly it's thousand miles from- watching it though, like it's them looking at that joint, witnessing that, like as they speak. That is, that is scary, bro. Iran to Israel in just 11 minutes. Later, like millions of others, we took cover when we heard the warning sirens. That's the sirens, we're gonna head to safety. President Biden had ordered the U.S. military to assist in defending Israel. Tonight, the Pentagon saying U.S. Navy destroyers fired a dozen interceptors at the incoming missiles. Obviously, this is a significant escalation by Iran, a significant event. The U.S. condemning the Iranian action, saying dozens more ballistic missiles were fired than in Iran's previous attack on Israel back in April. This is totally unacceptable, 
and the entire world should condemn it. The IDF tonight saying there are no known fatalities or major injuries in Israel. No. God, any known though. But like that's that's only because they didn't report it. But y'all, that don't mean nobody died. That, you know what I'm saying? That don't mean nobody died from that. That doesn't mean that they didn't find nobody. So, bro, maybe they messed up somebody's body. They couldn't even tell. Bro, that was a lot of missiles, bro. That they just, but they just, bro. That is crazy, bro. Ron says the attack was a response to Israel's assassination last week of Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah, following nearly a year of Hezbollah rocket attacks on northern Israel. All of it with nerves already frayed here by an earlier mass shooting in Tel Aviv. At least six yeah, civilians killed when two terrorists opened fire on the light rail, police say. While in a late night speech addressing the missile attack, Prime Minister Netanyahu saying Iran made a big mistake tonight and it will pay for it. Mm. Rav, what have you learned about damage caused by those Iranian missiles? Lester, Israel says there were a small number of impacts in the south and the center of the country. We know one missile came down near a school and several more were aimed at an air base that was damaged in the last Iranian attack back in April. Lester. Mm. All right, Raf Sanchez, thanks. And Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel is in southern Lebanon, right across the border from Israel. Isn't Richard, you've covered this conflict for a very great. long time. Does it feel certain that Israel will retaliate here? Oh, Israel will absolutely retaliate, and Prime Minister Netanyahu is already giving some hint at what Israel intends to do. Tonight, he listed off the names of several militant leaders who have attacked Israel. No, and they're going to respond. Yeah, they're going to respond. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely ain't going to let them slide with that. I wouldn't blame them. Look at this. It's like you, like you, you trying to blow up my shit. You know, I bet Iran's like, so y'all trying to blow up our shit? We're going to blow y'all shit up. We're going to blow y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to throw missiles? Okay, y'all want to throw missiles? Now. Iran's like, I right, bet, bet that up. This is getting scary. In the past, all, nearly all of them subsequently assassinated by Israel. So Israel could carry out targeted attacks against Iranian officials believed to be associated with this missile barrage. There could be attacks on nuclear sites, military facilities. How far Israel goes will determine the course of this war in the Middle East. Lester. All right, Richard Angle, thanks. As you heard, the U.S. actively participated in defending against the Iranian strike as the president and and Vice President kept a close watch on the situation. Here's Peter Alexander. President Biden tonight declaring Iran's major assault on Israel a failure. The attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective. The president crediting the U.S.'s extensive planning anticipating today's attack and working alongside its close ally, Israel. Oh, that is, that is mistake. Mistake. The United States is fully, fully, fully supportive of Israel. Earlier, President Biden with Vice President Harris monitoring the attack alongside their national security team from the Situation Room. The White House says Iran did not give any advance notice of today's missile barrage. It comes as the Biden administration's months-long effort to prevent a larger war in the Middle East is now facing its toughest test yet. The president tonight saying it remains to be seen what the consequences for Iran will be. The vice president bro, also... Imagine that y'all hitting one spot, though. Like, all the missiles hitting one area, bro. Like, bro, what the hell, bro? Condemning the Iranian attack. Iran is a destabilizing, dangerous force in the Middle East, and today's attack on Israel only further demonstrates that fact. Still, former President Trump campaigning in Wisconsin argues on the administration's watch, the world is spiraling out of control. They are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president who should be in charge, but nobody knows what's going on. All of it a dire backdrop to tonight's one and only showdown between the two vice presidential picks, who have been fierce critics from afar for months. This is not about power, it's about governing. Okavala, day one was 1,400 days ago. What the hell have you been doing? Tonight, they'll meet in person for the first time. And Peter, you're there in the spin room, and we're going to be seeing some new rules at this debate. Tell us about it. 
Yeah, Lester, that's right. A couple key differences tonight compared to the last presidential debate. There will be no live fact-checking by the moderators. And both candidates' microphones are going to stay on when it's the other person's turn to speak, which is likely to make for some fiery exchanges here this evening, Lester. Okay, Peter, thanks. And you can watch full coverage of tonight's vice presidential debate starting at 8 on NBC and oh, NBC Lord. News I wonder Now. How that, I wonder how that thanks went. For I wonder how that went. Anyway, uh, that was scary. That was real scary to, to look at, bro. It really was, man. That's, I would have never imagined to ever see that up close like that. Like, I wonder how, man, I wonder how surreal it was for the people that was actually standing there. Because, like, me me being miles and miles and miles and miles away looking at that shit. Amazing. So, I, I I can't even imagine, like, the stuff that they were thinking about in their minds. Like, just standing out there physically, like, staring at that John. That's well, Felipe, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? This was, uh... It's crazy. This is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? This is only going to get crazier. That's how I feel. It's going to get crazier. Because they said Israel definitely going to respond. If they haven't already. You know what I'm saying? They're going to definitely respond. Well, this video was made six days ago. So it been happening. But it's going to get ugly. That's how I feel about it, man. How y'all feel about this situation, man? How y'all feel what's going What y'all think going to happen? You know? I feel like there's a lot that's going to happen. Me personally. But man, without further ado, that concludes another video of Random Tuesday. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Um, same time next week. Any other requests, drop it in the comment section. I'll choose a random comment. That's going to be the next video. Um, but other than that, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe out here. Um, treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Uh, nah, man. Keep us out, man. Peace.